Amen on this blessed Monday and also blessed New Year to all of you and your families. And as always, welcome to the Deliverance and Breakthrough channel. Um, it is truly a blessing to be used by God as an instrument to proclaim repentance, salvation, and deliverance into the lives of others. And I also thank God for those of you who support the biblical truth that flows on this channel and many others out there. I thank God for your, um, you know, support to my channel. And um, my prayer is that God would use me as an instrument to, um, you know, lead others to a closer relationship with with God through his son, Jesus. And, um, you know, lastly, I also, um, you know, my desire is that God will use this channel to speak to your heart, um, your mind and your soul. And in hopes that something would be said that would bring true deliverance in your life. And um, also, I want to encourage those of you who are on the battlefield of the Lord, wherever God has placed you. Um, rather, God is using you in ministry, social media ministry. Rather, you're passing out tracts and helping the poor and those in need. Um, rather, God is using you, um, you know, in prison ministry on your job and your family and your neighborhood wherever god has placed you um continue to press forward into the assignment that god has placed in your life and i'm a living witness that is as long as we remain into position and into alignment with god the enemy has no spiritual or natural authority over our lives and we will prevail i'm a living witness of that amen <clears throat> Excuse me. So today, I, there's a word that I want to share with um, many of you. Um, again, this is a, a this day is the beginning of 2024, and there's some there's some uh, spiritual key points that I sense to share with many of you as this year um, begins. Um, it is a new year, and it is truly a blessing. Uh, to see another year, I, you know, sometimes we can covertly take that for granted. I mean, there's 365 days in a year and to be able to live through all of that, all those circumstances, adversity, knowing that anything could have happened. But I thank God for his love, his mercy and his protection that he's given many of us. Um. The first issue that I want to address going into 2024, um, I want to encourage those of you, you know, to, to let this year be a year of surrender, a year of uh, drawing closer to the Lord and a year of, you know, ridding yourself of sin and those things in your life that God is not pleased with and tomorrow is not promised uh, to any of us and at any given moment anything God can allow anything uh, to happen in our lives that could ultimately uh, you know cause us to get sick to cause us to pass away so each and every day that you're blessed to see another day um, you know, have a desire to put God first. And to anyone that comes across this content, any type of old sinful habits that God is calling you out of, you know, repent of that sin and ask God to help you to let go of it and to deny your flesh and to move forward into uh, walking in spiritual discipline. The Bible confirms that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. And I really allow God to use me to go after sexual sin. Um, God hates sin, period. But I really want to focus on sexual sin for a moment to anyone that has adultery in your life, fornication, masturbation, uh, same gender sexual perversion, pornography, uh, sexual TV, sexual books, sexual uh, content. Um, let this be the day that you fall up under conviction 
and repentance and ask God to flush that filth out of your soul. Coming into 2024, sexual sin is one of the one of the top weapons that the enemy uses on people. And he uses the pleasure of sexual sin to collect souls and to ultimately lead them into hell when their time is up on this natural earth. Um, I'm a living witness that God has the power and the ability to break those chains off of your life if you really seek if you really desire to be free, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a daily battle. But for those of you who are struggling in that area, ask God to help you and to get that that sin out of your life. And when God delivers you, ask him to help you not to go back. Um, there are so many things that I sense that God is calling for many of you not to carry into uh, this year. Um, the wrath of God is real. And yes, God loves us. He loves us very much. And he sent his son Jesus to die for our sins. But I will say God hates sin. He hates sin. And for those of you who have been um, in faith for several years, there's some things in your life that you should have been delivered from by now. And there are some of you who are holding on to things going into 2024 that God is calling for you to walk away from and to never go back. I'm a living witness that if you truly desire, hallelujah, glory to God, if you truly desire to be set free, God will deliver you. He will give you a, a spiritual strength and a power to never go back to it again i'm a living witness of that i've seen god do that in my own life the bible talks about resist the devil and he will flee i want you to understand that god has already spiritually engineered you to overcome sin and wickedness in this world you can overcome it right now and god can deliver you right now so that's a few of the key points that i sense to uh, address at the top of this message, let this year be a year of drawing closer to God. Many of you need to elevate your relationship with God. Elevate your prayer life. Elevate, you know, ask God to strengthen your prayer intercession. Prayer is vital. Prayer is important. Prayer is our communication unto God. Prayer feeds our spirit. Many of you need to come up in the spirit in prayer intercession. So many of you, you know, God loves us. He has a plan for our lives, but we have to draw closer to him. Many of you do everything else. Many of us have so much time for everything else. And we get lazy when it comes to spending intimate time with God. Many of you need to 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 ask God for more of a hunger for his word, a hunger for his presence, a hunger for prayer, a hunger for worship, a hunger for for, you know, having a higher frequency of staying in the presence of God. And this is why so many of you continue to fall over and over again. Some of you is because you don't have enough spiritual weight in the Lord. So when the enemy comes, you find yourself falling over and over and over again because some of you are not truly anchored in God the way that he's calling you to be. So let this year be a year of spiritual growth, of spiritual maturity. Forgiveness is available to those of you who want to change because I want you to understand the importance of relationship with God and not religion. Okay? Religious repetition on a Sunday pew while living comfortable in sin has no power, nor does it have any authority. And the Bible speaks on this. Jesus talks about how they worship me with their mouths, but their hearts are far away. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a lot of religious lip service from so many people, but their hearts are truly not in love with God because they love the world so much. 
And I thank God for those of you who who truly love God, those of you who have walked away from this world, those of you who have sold out to God, and those of you who are on the narrow path. I thank God for you and for your pursuit and for your holiness and your desire to draw closer to God. Another area that I want to cover, even those of you who, um, you know, there's another area that I want to cover. Those of you who going into 2024, those of you who are not saved, those of you who, who continue to turn a deaf ear to God over and over again, many of you, God is calling you. He's calling you to repent and to accept God's love of salvation through his son, Jesus. And there's so many people who just continue to turn a deaf ear because they believe that they're good. They believe that nothing's going to happen. The Bible talks about this, that the God of this world has them blinded. The only way they can break this repetitive cycle of sin and rebellion is through the power of God and repentance and accepting God in your life through his son, Jesus. And many of you will continue to fail over and over again, spiritually and naturally, until you surrender to God and give him your life. He will help you to overcome sin immediately. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So I deal with that. Because there's so many people who did not make it to 2024. I want you to understand that hell is real. Hell is real. And there's a lot of people right now that died in 2023 and they was not saved. And it breaks my heart. It grieves my spirit because hell would be their resting place. And the Bible confirms it is for eternity. The soul does not die. The physical body dies. The soul does not die. And I pray that God would, would open up many of your eyes to show you the seriousness of how dangerous sin is. And there's some of you, you're, 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 too, you're too much in the world. There's a lot of you. And, you know, there's so many of you, God is calling for you to, to let go of uh, worldly music. In 2024, God is calling for his people to let go of worldly music, sinful TV shows, all this stuff that a lot of us thought was normal. It is lukewarm. It puts us in a lukewarm state. We understand that salvation is a growing process, that babes in Christ must learn and, and develop in God to learn what not to feed their spirit. And in time, you will learn. But there's there are several of you who have been in this, this walk for quite some time and you're still feeding yourself sinful music of your favorite singers and rappers and stuff like that. You're still watching these TV shows that's not of God. The word confirms if you are a friend of the world, you are an enemy of God. And I want you to understand that these these religious systems will not preach on these issues. And this is the reason why I thank God for breaking me and my family away from the false church, the false church of Satan that refuses to address sin and repentance. I thank God for setting us free. I thank God because I want you to understand that the religious system strategy is to not address repentance, to drag your soul right into hell and to have you feeling like you're okay. And the Bible talks about those false teachers. They're nothing but wolves in sheep's clothing. And the Bible says that many shall follow their ways. Like I want you to understand Many are following that broad path to hell in these false churches. And some of them have thousands and thousands of people who support the uh, lies and the deception. The Bible said that they would because they have itching ears. Walk away from it. Trash it. And when you trash it, never go back. Because the enemy wants you in sin. He wants you to keep that stuff in your life. 
He wants you to be more so in the world and less in, into God. Walk away from it. It doesn't matter how it makes your soul feel. Walk away from, from the evil pleasures in this world. Walk away from it and never go back. Stay in the presence of God daily. God will help you. I'm a living witness of that. So many areas that I sense in my spirit to cover. And I also want to cover that in 2024, and we're seeing some of this now, 2024, and I prophetically sense this, is going to be a year of exposure. We're seeing this now. Um, as many of you may know, there are several, um, you know, several people that is in the secular Hollywood that God is exposing because God has had enough. There's several spiritual leaders that have big platforms that many of you have, and I'm sure that many of you have seen the names of, 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 of spiritual leaders who are very popular in the religious sector, allegations being raised against them. 2024 is going to be a year of exposure, and there are several people who refuse to repent that is very famous, rather in, in the religious sector or rather in the secular world, people who have platforms and big names that God is going to strip, that God is going to, to deal with aggressively, and there will be no repentance available and I feel the some of you, um, one of the uh, spiritual leaders who, who has a huge church, and I'm sure that many of you have seen the uh, news. Um, there's no point in praying for some of these people because they've already been rejected. They've already been reprobated. Those who are those who are blinded and who don't have spiritual wisdom don't understand this. The Bible confirms it. They they prayed for Saul, and they was pleading for Saul. But the Bible confirms that God had already rejected Saul. And these spiritual leaders who put on a really good act. And in my younger years, some of these spirit, these popular spiritual leaders that's in the news right now. I admire some of them in my younger years when I was a baby in Christ, still learning. But as I begin to grow older in the Lord and God begin to open up my eyes, I begin to see that they was nothing but wolves in sheep clothing. And some of them was factually called into ministry. They just they left their first love because they was more concerned about pleasing their flesh and money and sexual perversion. Many of the things that are going to come out on some of these spiritual leaders is going to blow some of you away. Now, I'm sure that there's spiritual content all over YouTube covering this particular spiritual leader, um, this uh, religious leader who has a big church. There's content everywhere. And I refuse to. Um, there's only one, a couple of, of prophecies that really I felt like God was speaking through these individuals. There was one in particular I could sense in my spirit that the prophecy that this individual gave off was um, accurate at a high frequency. The others, um, there's a lot of people that trying to ride off the momentum and they're trying to draw attention to their channel by dropping um, this religious leader's name on their channel because it gets views, it gets clicks, it draws people. Um, I refuse to get involved in that. Um, now, there are some people that God told them to post content about this, this, um, about this, this bishop. And I'm not going to knock that because God will tell us to, to drop names and we have to be we have to obey what God says. But there's a lot of people who who are just in their flesh trying to feed off of the uh, news to build their their channel. And uh, I refuse to let my channel be a channel that does clickbait and that drop names. I don't believe I've had one um, there's not one content on my channel to where I dropped um, to where I had somebody's face on the thumbnail. I had not been led to do that yet, but what we're seeing now is exposure.
and many of them will be stripped of their platform. They have been rejected by God because they left their first love. And many of these bishops and pastors and prophets, they refuse to preach holiness. They refuse to preach um, repentance. They refuse to address sin and sexual sin. They refuse to call the people to repent, <coughs> excuse me, and to get back right with God. They have been consumed and contaminated by the world and their false teachers, and God is going to deal with them. So be prepared for the exposure that's going to happen in 2024, and it's going to be a lot of it. And I sense to tell many of you to be prepared for what's going to happen in 2024. It's going to be a lot of exposure, and it's going to be in the so-called church. Several pastors and prophets and bishops that the world has admired, they're going to fall. Because they have led the sheep astray. And those of you who support these lukewarm, watered down, feel good, false, false agents of Satan, you're going to be highly disappointed because they're not of God. Many of them are good actors. I mean, they are really good actors and they can easily deceive those who don't have discernment and those who have itching ears. And the allegations, and I sense to say this, excuse me, the allegations for some of them is 100% accurate. Rather, you believe it or not, some of the allegations are absolutely accurate in the spirit. God isn't playing. And to those of you who are in ministry still preaching the things of God, I want you to understand if you are called into ministry, rather you're on social media or at a place of worship, wherever God has positioned you. If you are preaching the gospel, living in sin comfortably, you need to repent immediately. Now, me and my wife talk about this a lot. I refuse to play church. I refuse. The repentance that I preach on this channel goes towards me as well. I cannot play with God. If you're going to preach the gospel, you must live a life of holiness and discipline and separation from this world. See, I know what it's like to be on the narrow path because I'm on that narrow path. And the narrow path can be a lonely road because you're separated from what everybody else is doing. But I would rather be on the narrow path and be in position with God than to be on the broad path to hell that looks popular and where everybody is. These people are going to fall. Now, let me deal with some of these celebrities. Many of them are going to fall. Many of them felt invincible. They thought that their money could, their, their money and their groupies can save them. When the wrath of God is locked and loaded against people, they're going to lose. Many of them will lose everything because of sin and no repentance some of them are so evil and some of you these people that you have supported rather it be in the false church or rather it be in someone that's a celebrity you have looked in the face of evil some of the heinous horrific crimes that these fake bishops have done behind closed doors and you're seeing the allegations surface now it is going to blow your mind and some of you, your mouth is going to drop when you see everything unfold. The giants are falling and it will not be reversed. It will not be reversed. There's no point in even praying for some of these people because they've been rejected by God. Yes, there are some people that can change and there are some people that have not been turned over to reprobate. There are some people that God is going to extend grace and mercy, but there are some people they will not. They will not be extended forgiveness. They have played and played and played with God for so long and God is sick of it. The Bible talks about this for the wrath of God is revealed from 
heaven to all unrighteousness and to those who hold the truth in unrighteousness. It is dangerous. It is dangerous to touch the things of God and you're living in sin. And God is going to deal with some of these social media YouTubers as well. Those who have manipulated the gospel on YouTube. And I say this boldly. It is disgusting. It is. It is very heartbreaking to see people make merchandise of the gospel on YouTube. So much clickbait to build their channel. So much pride. Many of these people are uncalled. God never called them to talk about the things of God. Some of them are called, but they are not fulfilling the assignment that God has called them. It's too much clickbait. It's too much entertainment. Those of you who understand business understand that YouTube is a shock value platform. And these people know. Some of them hate God. But they preach about God on these platforms because of what his name can draw to their channel. There are some people who are in ministry right now. They hate God. They only preach the gospel because of the money that talking about God can bring them. There's too many people who have turned the things of God into a religious gossip sector. God didn't tell many of you. To put these people on your thumbnail. Some of you God did. But some of you. There's a lot of you who are unlearned. And who are untrained. And who have not been trained in the spiritual nuances. Of how to distribute the word of God with balance. Many of you will be dealt with. For your, your refusal to re repent. It's too much manipulation. Too much making merchandise of this gospel. On YouTube, some of you are unlearned and you're untrained. Now, I thank God for those of you who are trained and you preach a balanced gospel. You address repentance. You encourage. Keep doing what you're doing. I celebrate you and I thank God for you. I do. But there's a lot of people who are who are not who have not been given the green light to discuss the things of God on this platform because they are unlearned and they are untrained. It is not of God to charge for prayer. It is not of God to charge for um, prophecy. It is not of God to charge for the things of God, for self-gain and pride. God isn't playing. God isn't playing in 2024. I sense a year of exposure, a year of God's wrath. And it's aggressive. Several names will drop and drop. Rather, they believe it or not, they will drop and drop and drop. Anyone who loves sin is an enemy to God. God will continue to take care of his people that love him. He will take care of babes in Christ who, who have a desire to uh, grow. He will take care of his own. Because the Bible confirms in all things work together for the good of them that love God and those who are called according to his purpose. God will take care of us. But 2024 is going to be a year of wrath in the lives of many people. And there's nothing that they're going to be able to do to stop it. I remember a very prominent, popular bishop in Atlanta who is no longer living, who, who, who was full of pride, sexual sin, self-righteousness, and greed. And that bishop is no longer alive. People, God ain't playing. God isn't playing. And, and at that moment, I sensed that he was not the only one that was involved in this. I sense a whole ring, a whole, a whole religious fraternity of just wickedness in them, a whole network of them doing evil and heinous things behind the scenes. People, I want you to understand some of these popular bishops 
when you look at them, you're looking at the face of evil. And many of them are really good at deceiving people, but God will not be mocked.